Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll introduce a new package called our hands-on table. Our hands-on table is a package created by Jonathan Owen and is based on hands-on table JavaScript library. What it does is it, pro it produces a data grid with Excel-like appearance and features. On the left hand side, you can see that I have a data frame with three columns A, B and C. And if I wish to edit these values, I am not able to do so. On the right hand side, I have the same data set with columns A, B and C. However, using our hands on table package and if I wish to edit the data cell values, I'm able to do so. So you can see that the old values are overwritten with the new values. Let, let's go to the code and see how to use this package, how to create the R hands on table object and uh, data grid like this and the render and output functions associated. I am in the ui.r file and the first thing we need to do is install the R hands on table package. I already have it. So I'm not going to install it. Rather, I would just load the required packages. So I begin with loading the shiny package, load, loading the R hands on table package. And then I have the layout starting with shiny UI function, fluid page. And then in the fluid row, I've got uh, two columns here. The first column, I am displaying the non-editable table using the object table one. In the other column, I have the uh, the table come in, in using uh, our hands-on table. So I've got this table as editable and then I've got the action button uh, to save the edited file. In the server.r, I start with creating uh, the example data set. So I have got um, column A uh, um, sample the numbers 1 through 10. Similarly, column B uh, by sampling the numbers 1 through 10. I have column C, which is nothing but um, um, the sum of uh, data values in A and B. Then I'm defining the data frame, data dot frame uh, with the columns A, B and C and assigning it to data frame object DF1. We've got the shiny server function. In this, the first thing we are doing is we are using the render table and uh, trying to um, uh, return the data frame DF1. Now remember that this is going to be non-editable. This is the uh, data set which we had on the left hand side of the uh, app. Next we have um, the render function where we are using our hands on table function on our data frame df1. What it does is it basically converts this data frame df1 into our hands on table object. Also, this is where it gets this capability of um, uh, being able to edit. We are able to edit the uh, data values. The returned our hands on table object is stored in table output object. Next, we have observe event function. We are saying that on the click of save button, write the edited data file to CSV. We are also using hot to our function here. This is because we cannot directly use our hands on table object and write the CSV. It has to be converted to our object. Hot to our basically converts this our hands on table object to our object. Hot to our on input dollar table. Table is the output object. And we are accessing it saying input dollar table. We are defining the file name as mydata.csv. Row names equals false. Let's run the app. If we run the app and let's edit the data values. The first row 1010. Second row 
columns A and B 2020, third row 30 and 30. Let's save it. And if I list the files, I can see that I've got a new CSV file called my data in my working directory. And if I open this, I can now see the changes reflected here.